Hey everybody, this is the Sliders Review, and I'm here today to talk to you about Friday Night. This is a forgotten show that I used to watch in the mid to late 90s, and I had a blast watching this show back in the day. Like, I remember I would just stay up, like, all Friday night, and it would come on, like, around 12 in the morning. I never understood why it was called Friday night, because it literally came on at, like, Saturday morning and everything at, like, 12 midnight and stuff. And for some reason, when I was younger growing up, I used to call it Friday Night Live, because it's Saturday Night Live. But, like, you know... This was the equivalent of, like, say, watching one of those MTV music um, variety type shows or VH1. And I remember because, like, I didn't have cable growing up in, like, the 90s because my family had it shut off when I was five and they didn't get it again until I was 17. So if you didn't have cable, this was how you got like your music videos and like stuff like that. And I remember like I would have like my VHS tape and stuff. I will like be praying and hoping like the music video that like, you know, I will call in and stuff will get picked so I could record it. And when it was, I was like so happy and stuff. But, you know, the thing that was so cool about this show is that I just never seen anything like it. It had a really cool host by the name of Rita Silver. And she was hot. <laughs> and I remember like, you know, they had comedy sketches. They had a jukebox type thing. They would play music videos. She would like interview celebrities and everything. This was just a really cool show to like kick back late at night and watch and stuff. And I was so happy it came on Friday night because if it would have came on Sunday night, I would have never been able to watch it because my mom never let me stay up like, you know, Sunday nights because of school and stuff. But I remember being really pissed in 2001 because, like, the show got renamed and Rita left. And then the show just went completely into, like, stand-up comedy and stuff. And this show actually is funny when it comes to this show because the show started in 1983 and it lasted to 2002. But the thing is, is that the show has like changed and evolved for so many years. See, originally, this show was created by Dick Emerson. And originally, back in like 74 to 81 and stuff, he had a show called Midnight Special, which just had like a bunch of music videos. But then they got canceled. So he did some thinking and retooled and stuff like that. And he came up with a show called Friday Night Videos. Now, I've never, ever, ever seen Friday Night Videos, but they're on YouTube, a couple of episodes and stuff. And they used to show music videos and they will have a host. And the show has gone through so many hosts. And they used to have celebrity guest hosts and stuff like that. But then it's like... Oh, what was it around? And so like, okay, so from 83 to like 94, no, to nine. Okay, so to 83 to 93, ratings started to dip. So they decided to change up the format to make it more of a variety show and stuff. And so in 94, they, they like mostly abandoned the music to where they only have like two or three music videos because like they will have like the jukebox music videos that you get to vote on and then maybe throughout the show they will like randomly put like a music video up and so then it changed to where they had two completely different hosts one was one is Rita Sever and the other one was Henry Cho. I have no idea who Henry Cho is. He's an actor, comedian, and I don't remember watching the show when he was there. But around the time, maybe around, oh, 97, 98, 
is when Rita took over as the solo host and everything. And this was when around the time I watched it. So whenever, what was it? Leonardo DiCaprio, Romeo and Juliet, and Drew Barrymore's Never Been Kissed. That's around the time I watched it because I remember they she would like review movies. And so like the format of the show was pretty like interesting. So like around this time, she was standing in front of a sign, the, and it would be like to the left of the Late Night with Jay Leno show. And it would be next to like the little screen thing. And so she would stand there and she would do her hosting job. And she was so cool. She was charismatic. She looked amazing and everything. She wore great clothes. And she just had a nice vibe to her all around. And so it, it, she was like really popular and stuff. Nowadays, I don't know where she is. After this show ended, at some point she got married and she did some acting here and there as like guest roles and stuff, but then she quit. I honestly God have no idea what happened to her. She don't do social media. And you know, fans have been wondering where the heck is she, man? Because she was one of those, like, you know um pioneers for like being a female host like in like you know the 90s and stuff because like i said i never watched the vhs and the mtv stuff back in the 90s but you know when i had cable i did you know i used to watch trl and stuff like that and so like she was just like a really amazing host like I always was always happy and excited when i saw her because, you know, she looked good. <laughs> but also because she was just funny. And she always had this nice, like, presence to her and stuff. And I really wish they would have gave her her own building. And, like, maybe, like, an like a, a office or a table she could sit at. Or just, like, something. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, she really... Cause like I said, I don't know who Henry Cho is. But she really, really, like, carried that entire show. And, like, there would be times where they would put her in, like, sketches because, like, she would imitate um, certain scenes from movies and she would act in them. The funniest one and my favorite one was Wild Wild West when she pretended to be Selma Hayek wearing that outfit and stuff. <laughs> and it was so funny because, like, she would, like, there were times she would get raunchy where she would be all, like, you want me to put out? okay and then she'll start like unbuttoning her outfit but you won't see nothing because they'll do it like off screen and everything or sometimes she'll like beat people up or there was this one time she was like a cheerleader and stuff and she was at like a gym and she pretended like to pick up this guy and like toss him <laughs> and everything and i remember this one sketch that was really cool it was where like she would um her and a group of ladies i don't know who the ladies were but they were pretending to be um, All Saints, singing the song Never Ever. Oh man, I love that song. I used to love watching it. And that's how I saw the music video, because if it wasn't for this show, like Backstreet Boys, NSYNC, um, Tony Braxton, like Nelly, F I don't know about Nelly Furtado, but um, All Saints and Spice Girls and stuff. And that's how I saw their music videos and stuff. And I remember just having a blast. I didn't really care for the stand-up comedy aspect of it when they have a comedian on there. And I would normally skip that part. But like they would like she would interview celebrities. And I remember she had a pretend feud with Oh, who is that one? Jennifer something. I think it no oh crap, dude. It's, she was like she had like this one song that was um uh, really popular. Some, I want to say something, a kiss or something like that. I can't remember her name. She's technically a one-hit wonder. And, ah, man, what was her name? But they used to pretend like they would have like a... a I remember it just yesterday, but I don't remember it now. But um, they would pretend like they have like a feud and everything. And it was like really funny when they would like start fighting each other. But yeah, she would like interview celebrities and... One time she went on this like space shuttle type thing where they taught her how to be like an astronaut and she got the interview like, you know, somebody who worked there and stuff. 
And so it was just like this different variety of like music videos and then comedy sketches and then stand up comedians and interviews and, you know, and I think it was, the show lasted for like, it would be like an hour show. And I remember they had this thing where you can call in for the jukebox thing. And I remember calling it, like, just calling it over and over and over and over. Like, just to get my music videos, like, you know, aired and stuff like that. Because I really wanted to watch some of those videos. And when some of my videos didn't get picked up, I was pissed. <laughs> and I remember it was cool because you called, I think it was her voice and stuff, on an automatic recording thing. And sadly, when it comes to her episodes... They're nowhere to be found like online. Like you can't watch a full episode. Some people have recorded like, you know, clips here and there, but that's about it. And I remember like sometimes um two celebrity guys were like interact with her. One was Ed Hall, and he was from the Jay Leno show. And I remember him, and there was another guy. I think his name is Valentino something. Okay, so you remember the show King of Queens and stuff? He played the lead dude's Kevin's, like, cousin. And in real life, that's his brother. So I saw this guy way before I ever saw Kevin and stuff. Jennifer Page. That's who I was thinking about, the singer from the song Crush. They were played on Friday night, and they also played Sober. Now I remember, because yeah, her and Rita would pretend to have like a feud between each other, and they were like fighting stuff like that. But sadly, in 2000, the show got reformatted, which was odd, because it had really huge high ratings and stuff. So what they decided to do was gut the entire show, they got rid of Rita, they got rid of music and like interviews and sketch comedy shows and stuff, um, skits and stuff like that. And instead it was just like stand up comedy from comedians and it was later retitled Late Night. I remember I was furious, I was pissed, I was mad because it was the summertime. So I could stay up as long as I wanted to no matter what. And I just remember just being like, just furious and everything. Cause they got rid of my show. And I did not watch it for the comedy um, stand-up comedian. So that proved to be stupid because then in 2002, it later got canceled and stuff. Which, you know, it lasted for three seasons like that. So I, I guess some people were watching it, but you know, the damage was done. And so it's like, if it's not broken, you just don't fix it, you know? And, you know, I really wish this show could come back, man. Like, I really wish it would. And I wish she would be the host. But, you know, now we live in the day of the internet. And you can just watch music videos or some, like, sketch thing, like, on YouTube or something like that, you know? Because, heck... I don't even want to think VH1 and MTV. I don't even want to think they play music videos anymore. I remember back in the 2000s, they didn't and stuff. And now they create like shows and like reality shows. But you know, she is known for hosting. So why not just give her a hosting job? So it would be great to see her again. Like, I wish she would get social media, man. Because people have been wondering what the heck has she been up to and everything. Oh, what she looks like now, you know? I know she was on this uh, CW show on a guest starring role, and she did like one movie, I think, but that's about it. That's all I know of, and um, acting wise and stuff. But it's just kind of like, you know, if all these guys can have these late night shows and this and that, and they, like, like, I remember like Street Smarts, man. It's like, you know, you have these hosts that are so captivating and people remember them, you know what I'm saying? And just love watching them to death. Like, give them another show, man. And stop giving actual celebrities who are actors and singers hosting gigs or ju um, judge gigs and stuff. You know what? I wish she would appear on Dancing with the Stars. Even though I don't watch it no more, I will watch it for her. Alrighty, well, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.